This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well you're checking out part 3, so I assume you saw part 1 and part 2, and uh, like I said in the previous videos, in this video we're going to jump in and texture our hand grenade in Substance Painter. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well in our last video we uh, UV'd our grenade, and in this video we are going to texture it in Substance Painter. Okay. So let's uh, start by applying uh, different types of uh, Lamberts to this guy. So we'll just um, go in and um, let's see, we're gonna get a mesh and separate. We're gonna take this guy, assign the material. Let's do a Lambert. And it really doesn't matter what color you use as long as they're different colors. It's kind of a color ID map. So once we get into uh, Substance Painter, it's easier to identify the different parts, okay? So, and technically you wouldn't even have to do different colors. You could even just do individual Lamberts all being gray, but it's easier to do it this way, okay? So I'm just going through and I'm just giving each part a different color and I'm not that many parts, so it's not that difficult. Let's see, we'll do that. We'll take this little ring here yeah, there we go. Sign the material. Lambert. And let's, uh, I don't know. Let's do purple or whatever. And then we got this little ring here. That's the last one. Sign the material. Lambert. And let's do white. Okay. So we got all the parts. We're going to drag select this guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Edit Delete by Type History just one more time. And we're going to go to File, Export Selection, Option Box. We'll export this as an OBJ. That's fine. Export Selection. I'll call this uh, Grenade OBJ. And I'll save it on my desktop. And then it's time for us to jump into Substance Painter. Here we go. Hi right, guys, we're in the Substance Painter. We're going to go to File and New. And then uh, we're going to leave this at PBR Metal Rough. That's fine. We're going to select our mesh. So we're going to go to our desktop. Here's our Grenade OBJ. We haven't created any maps just yet, so we're not going to do anything there. And we're going to leave it at 1K map size. Direct X is fine for this, so we'll just hit OK. And we'll wait for our model to come in. And hopefully it looks OK and it looks like it is so it's cool and let's see yep yeah, fine and we got our different materials up here so what we're going to do uh, to start with is we're going to bake our normal maps and all that other stuff so we're going to go down here and what i'll do is i'll go to uh, view and reset ui so we all have the same view and we're going to go to bake textures I'm just going to uh, bake all textures. Uh, we don't have any high poly mesh. Well, we have a high poly mesh, but that's the only mesh we have. So we're not going to bake any normals based off high and low poly. So we're just going to bake all the texture maps. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll get some error messages down here because we just selected everything. But we'll sort that out later. We'll just give it a sec as that bakes out. Well, there you have it. Here you can see that the maps have been uh, baked out as a start. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to look at the individual components that we want to texture. All right. So let's uh, see. We're going to start to click on these guys to turn them off so we can see what's what. And as we move down, we can see that, for example, this guy here, that's our ring. And that should be a red painted steel. Okay. So with that selected, we're going to go to our materials and let's go to painted steel. And we're just going to drag that in and drop that on that layer right there. Okay. As we do that, it adds that. You can see that the color is quite different. We want that to be red. So we're going to click on that color. We're going to move it up to the red zone, if you will. And actually, let's move that down to something that is actually more red. And let's see if we can find the right color here. I think that looks all right. Yeah, looks cool. 
So, uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. All right. Okay. So let's see what else we can increase the roughness of the paint, which is in the case of a grenade kind of cool. I think we don't want it to be too shiny and we have the option to add some rust. We're not going to go nuts on that because we don't want a rusty um, grenade, but just a little bit. Okay. So happy with that one. Let's uh, move on to the next. That's our main body. We're not going to do that yet. That is our ring. Let's do that ring. Okay. We'll click on that. We got a layer going on here. Let's go with steel. And this is just a rough steel material. Just drag that in. And there's not too much that we need to do with this. Looks okay. The trick with the substance painter is people tend to put way too much rust and gunk on it because they can. And um, we'll just see if we increase that roughness. You know, it just takes away the shine to it, but it's okay to have a little bit of shine on it. So we'll just bring that back. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see. That's our main body. Turn that off again. That's our ring. We did that. That's our other little ring. So we'll go there and we'll just simply drag on that same material. Looks fine. Then we'll go down and let's see. Okay. So let's start with that thing, same material. Okay. So, uh, let's see, there we go. We'll take our same steel and bring that in. Looks pretty cool. Now this is a larger surface. So here we can, uh, see if we want to tweak anything here. Let's see. It just takes away the, the shine to it. So we'll leave that as is. Okay. And let's see, we got this guy, same deal. Make sure you select that layer as you move in. Okay, cool. And we got that ring that we already did. We are now looking at the main body. Let's turn on that red ring as well. And there we go. Okay. So let's have a look at the main body. Now we want that to be, um, steel as well. Uh, but let's see here. We got steel rust. Let's try that. Just make sure that we got the main body selected, which is this guy. Okay. It's selected. Let's go with this material and let's see if that will work for us. Okay. Now it doesn't look too great. So instead of that, let's delete it and let's go into our smart materials and see if we got something that looks cooler. Okay. So we'll go with steel. This is painted steel, which is cool. We can bring that in and we can adjust the color. So here we got some nice edge wear going on, which is cool, but we do need to have that military color. Okay. So we're going to open up that folder. And let's uh, look at what we got here. This color is quite red. Obviously we're going to click on that red. I'm going to take this little picker and I'm going to move over to my other screen where I have an example of our grenade on the screen. So I can move the picker over that until I have a green that I like. Okay. So let's go with this. Okay. I like that. Right. Now we can tweak this, a um, couple of things we can do. Uh, let's see, let's have a look at our metal details. Okay. Now we could increase the roughness uh, let's see overall height. Uh, let's see, just trying to think what I want to do on this guy. Now we don't have any metallic values at all for the most part. And I'm not sure whether that is what I want. Okay. Let's just bring down that little bit. And as we do that, you can see that the outlook is quite different. Just playing with some settings here. I'm not going to go with the, uh, the color because we, uh, we're okay with that or we should be, uh, let's see if that changed anything. You can see that the, the, uh, the details, the little bumps and so forth, as I click on this, they kind of go down a bit. 
not unhappy with this, so that's good. Uh, let's see here. What can we do here? Metallic values, slight difference, not much. Here we do have a lot of difference. As we bump this up, you can see that the, uh, especially in this area here, you can see that it's toning down, but I'm okay with that for now, okay? Now, one thing that's important is at this top edge here, we got some yellow paint in our uh, other image, and I'm just trying to see if I can show you guys here. So you got that yellow paint up there, and that's what we want to mimic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a brush, and we'll go with a default brush. And let's make that a fairly hard brush, which is fine. And then we're gonna go in, we're in the right layer. We're gonna add a layer up here, add a layer. And we got our brush, we got our alpha. We're gonna choose a color, which is not white, but yellow. So let's move that into that area. And I'll take my picker again and just move that over to that yellow paint, like so. And let's do a quick test here. Looks pretty cool. And let's see what values we want. Do we want uh, color? Yes, we do. Height? Yes, we do as well. And we want it to be fairly rough because it's kind of a thick paint. So let's see if that will work for us. And I also want to maybe increase the brush size a bit. Okay. And I'm just trying to see if we are, yeah, there you go. I'm clicking on that layer here so we can do this area as well. And don't make it too clean. That's not what we want. We want it to look like it's been, I don't know. I wouldn't say hand painted, but All right, cool. So now we're gonna turn back all our parts here. Okay, so that looks, and I'll just bring this in. Where'd he go, hang on. Okay guys, well that's our grenade, or at least that's uh, my interpretation of the grenade. So uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, video is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. And that said, thank you very much for watching and love to see you guys again. Bye.